Hi there, and welcome to The Dough Show for Monday, April 23rd, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really full show for you today. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Um, this past weekend at Evolution Wonder Lounge, um, Class and Sass Productions put on their uh, Spring Cabaret, the Behind Bars Cabaret. That is the Velvet Cupcakes and the Stud Muffins, led by Cherry Monroe and Basil Woodley. Um, and uh, they've also included a new group called the Femme Brulees. The debut. The debut the of the Femme Brulees, which includes our uh, drag sisters, Pheromone Kills, uh, no Vagina, and Ruby Hyman. And it was great to see the drag mixed into their uh, already eclectic style of burlesque and art form of everything mixed in there. They're, they're such a good show. Um, if you ever get a chance to see one, which they will in the fall, I assume they will be Christmas doing Christmas time. I yeah, think. their second show. Um, so yes, you will definitely have to look for that. Um, as always, it was hosted by the incomparable Lil Fair. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's such an amazing show. Um, the videos for those are not up yet. Um, because we filmed both Friday and Saturday, so we've been going through all the footage and making sure that we're putting up the best versions of both. Yes, so those will be coming up a little bit later on. I say we, but Bambi's been doing all the work. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh. But uh, there were some uh, some fabulous performances from the Capital City Burlesque uh, did a number. Um, a special guest, uh, Arabella Allure, did a, a fabulous number. So good. One, some of the ones to definitely look for, for from my side, was uh, Express. It was a fantastic number with Cherry and Basil and Jacques and mm -hmm. a few others. And, uh, it was it was such a good number, um, and the other one that I absolutely loved, even though you'd think by now I would be sick to death of the song from everything else in drag, uh, but Cell Block Tango. Uh, it was it was such a good version. Um, yeah, it, it it was it was really well done. I, I I loved both of those numbers. So you will definitely have to check those out. And at least from the footage from Friday night, I'm just personally happy that we actually ended up with decent footage of most of the cast. Um, my eye was probably actually following Jacques Von Strapp around the stage most of the time, but it looked like from the footage that the camera was at least pointed where it was supposed to be. So I'm happy Yay. with these hopes. <laughs> Uh, some of my favorites from the cabaret show had to be two ladies. Mm. Oh, that was with the Femme Brulees, Ruby Hyman and Pheromone Kills, and they were paired with Basil Woodley. Mm -hmm. And they were just did did <laughs> two ladies. And then that headstand. Oh, oh yeah. You have to check out the videos once they're out. It's really good. It's really good. Um, uh, and the other one, uh, Jailhouse Rock. Mm -hmm. There was. Uh, Bunch of them on stage, and it was tap dancing. Mm -hmm. And on Saturday, I even had most of the footage of their feet. So it's we'll true. be using Steven's footage. He was so captivated by their footwork, he filmed mostly their feet. You can't <laughs> even tell who's who. It's adorable. Uh, we'll have to release the footage at some point. But uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, look for all that footage very uh, soon coming to the channel. Uh, Saturday, the Dragon Youth series put on their monthly show. Um, this one's called Dragging Spring Sparkling Youth Performers A Bloom. I always have to write down the titles for Hollywood shows because <laughs> they're always like, what is that? Anyway, <laughs> um, hosted by D Love and the recently resurrected Hollywood Sex Drive, and she looked pretty good for a dead girl, um, <laughs> hosted the show. Um, at the Unitarian Church. Um, I think $300 were raised for the queer prom, um, so that's super exciting. Uh, the videos from that show are up already. Um, yeah, the only other thing I have to say from that is we had some camera issues. Unfortunately, uh, at the intermission, my camera stopped working. So, for the second half, it was all filmed on my iPhone, and the footage is blurry, and the footage is, yeah, it's horrible and I feel terrible. Um, so I apologize profusely. It is obviously there was nothing I could do in that moment. Um, I didn't have the backup camera because Bambi had it across town ready to film behind Bars Cabaret. So there was unfortunately nothing we could do. Um, there's some edited footage from some of them that are up, is up there because I didn't get everyone. 
I apologize. Uh, but yes, we do the best that we can, and what is up there is, is unfortunately the best that we have. So uh, yes, enjoy what's up there, and we will, as always, continue to strive to, to do better, and, and you know, it is what it is. Um, some of the videos that you do need to check out, though, even despite their quality, uh, Nate Pan did a fantastic um, version of Shooting Star. He had lights all over him and everything, and it was just, it was so good. I, I'm such a fan of Nate. Uh, Jean Von Glitz has really taken my eye, um, showing up over the last few months and, and killing it every single time. So, um, yeah, um, fantastic video. So check those out on our channel now. Thankfully, we figured out some of our camera issues by Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And we were able to go to Evolution Money Lunch for the Sunday review to catch my sister. Say on say fair. Birthday <laughs> extravaganza Birth show. bath show thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to like cheer that bitch on 365 days of the she's year. She's your sister. I know, you she's my sister, her. yes. Uh, it was the first time that uh, Science actually, I think, has hosted on her yeah, own. Yeah, first um, time she's hosted, I believe. She was nervous, and I, I you did fine, hon. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was honestly a fun, light, very laid back. It's um, like hanging out with your stoner sister. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of which, very first number was her role <laughs> joint on stage while singing, What's going on? Which I think she spends a good point of her time thinking. Um, <laughs> Other numbers that you definitely need to check out on uh, from last night's show was Christy Healy for the second week in a row did a fantastic number uh, that's completely outside of what we've seen from her before. Yes, uh, she and broke through that box. Yes. She busted that yeah, box. Yeah, second week in a row she has like kicked the shit out of that box on her she way She has out a of demolition it. kit somewhere. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> right? She's got a sledgehammer. Bitch has a sledgehammer. And Anyways, uh, you killed it. She killed it. And the other one that I absolutely loved last night, as always, is one of my favorites, Vula Callis. I just, she's so in her own genre, her own style, mm -hmm. and I just, I love what she does. Yay! Love you, Vula. What about you? What were some of your favorites from last night? <sighs> some of my favorites from last night was Cat Marlowe and Nora. I love you, Jesus. It was so cute and so funny and quirky. And it, it really fit in the science show. Like, we were talking about this last night. A bunch of the numbers, they all fit the theme of the show last night, mm -hmm. being fun, quirky, not too serious. Mm -hmm. I, it was a little awkward afterwards when, when Bambi found the real video. For oh yeah, I, I, and, I, and I found out that it was a real song and not a parody. Yeah, we had to Google uh, that song afterwards. Cause yeah, that song's now in my life, so thanks for that, Kat. Yay! It's anyway, fun. what else did you like? <laughs> Uh, the other one I must talk about was JonBenet Rams meet Roxanne slash Lady in Red. Mm -hmm. um, the first time I saw a drag performer in this city performing in drag, they did Lady in Red. It's true. And it started us going to shows, and it started dragging our heels, and it all came from that song. So when I heard that, it took me way back. Trigger warning. Uh, and that was John Bonet's sister, Lars the Mary Virgin. So that did that, I believe, back in the day. So um, she did it with a mirror and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It took us back. It did. Right? It did. It was, it, was, it, was, it kind of was nice to go back full circle there after four years. <laughs> it's Lourdes' fault. <laughs> uh, anyway, all those videos, or not all of those videos, but they'll all be available very soon. So check them out. That's what all happened this past weekend. You wouldn't be high from that science yeah, show, would you? Yeah. High above me. It's so lovely. You're lovely. Aww. Coming up this next weekend, we have uh, the ISCWR is putting on leather, feathers, and fur. Oh my! Uh, they're putting it on in conjunction with Fab. Friday night at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Um, I have no idea who's hosting. I have no idea who's performing. Um, but Bambi Dextrous is getting a crown. Yeah! Yay! I'm getting my Queen of Hearts crown. Yay! And I'm very excited and honored to be there and getting crowned at my title. Exactly! So what other reason do you need to go? Uh, yeah, you need no other reason. Right? Like Bambi. And Bambi. Leave after the crowning. I don't care. Yeah, five dollars at the door. It'll be a good show. Yeah. Um, I'm sure. They always are. So They always uh, are. Really good. It doesn't matter who's hosting and performing. I think that's my point. It doesn't matter. The ISCWR is putting on. That's all you need to know. Um, Saturday. 
Hail Mary at Have Mercy is going on, uh, hosted by Sister Mary Clarence. Mm -hmm. uh, as always, we are hoping we're going to have somebody there to film, uh, but there is a chance that we're not because our regular photographer, filmer for that show is away. Um, so, uh, so we're going to need a stand-in or we'll figure something out. So we're going to hopefully... definitely try, but that being said, there's a chance we're not going to be. So if you want to see Godiva and Rexy and everybody else that Sister Mary has, has lined up for Saturday's show, you better be there because there's no guarantee that we're going to have footage yeah. of it. So yeah. be at that show. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, We've been a couple of times. It's uh, it's always a good time. We're always um, very busy. you got to book your tables there. in advance yeah. and everything else <clears throat> at Have Mercy on Saturday. So definitely check that out. Sunday. Sunday review. Space Farce. Space Farce? Space Farce. Put on by Bubbles LaRue. It is a Star Wars Spaceballs spoof. It sounds fun to me. It does. I have no idea, again, I have no idea what's going on. Um, he hasn't announced a cast list. I know he's picked. I think he's even picked who's doing, doing what, what song. Songs? I don't know what's going on. But it's going to be fun. It's from the mind of Bubbles. Uh, it's a $6 cover um, with partial proceeds going to uh, charity. And I'm pretty sure that charity is ISCWR because I think they're going to be around selling 50-50s and and a few other things that night. So um, check that out next Sunday uh, at Evolution Wonder Lounge. It's going to be a really good yeah. show. Um, we are going to do our picks of the week, but before we do that, I just want to say a couple of things. If you were following us on Facebook, uh, you will have seen some posts that some things are happening. Um, we have all kinds of projects that are on the go, and I don't want to say too much about some of them because I don't want to... I don't want to jinx them but mm -hmm. um, we have something we've been asked to put on a show um, and we are in the proceeds of putting our cast together and getting our transportation lined up and everything else because it looks like we are taking dragging our heels down the road uh, coming yeah. soon and we will have far more information on that um, but that's later. On a later episode. On a later sure. episode. But we just wanted to let you know that <laughs> there are things coming down the pipe and it's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. However, Picks of the week. Um, for me, it was down to a couple. I really couldn't decide. It was really close mm. to two ladies. <laughs> um, but uh, Express. Express. It was, it was so good. Yes. Uh, my pick of the week, also from that same burlesque show. And we've seen this number by many other groups on our channel performing this. But my pick is Cell Block Tango. Performed mm -hmm. by the Velvet Cupcakes and Stud Muffins. Oh, so good. So good. So good. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think that's about it. And all those videos from Burlesque, they will be coming up in the coming days. So we'll look forward to those hitting our channel right away. That's the Week in Drag. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Let's say weekend one more time in that sentence. This weekend, we've got a weekend full of weekend shows this weekend. <laughs>